And yet another episode of uh, my rock art collection. Um, I'm going to call these mammoths because all of them have big long snouts to me, big trunks. Uh, I see a lot of eyes. I see a lot of representation of a big flat ear to the right. So of all of these They've all come out of the ground, same piece of ground than the same year. So it's just a continuation of what I've been finding out there. And if you've seen any of the other videos, you'll, you'll know that this is uh, a very big collection. So I'm, I'm understanding that it to be an Indian campground. And the more I learn about timing, uh, could have been a thousand years ago because uh, I was watching a program on the DNA strains and uh, that's my best guess right now so that would put them at uh, AD 850 uh, anytime after that uh, so what I'm finding though is that these are cultural symbols symbols they uh, uh, they represent uh, the animals that are around them. Um, it was a communal activity. They got together and they did uh, group art shows, I guess. <laughs> so I don't know. But we'll take a look at uh, we'll t take a look at each of these, and I'll try to get a little bit of better close up so you can see what maybe I see. So we'll start this way. These two are not particularly strong. It's just to me that they're made out of clay. And they were made to represent something and I see an eye on that one and the amazing thing was before I turn this light on it seems like these uh, actually looked better in lower light I don't know let's do an experiment real quick So there is some light there. Of course, if I can keep my head out of the way. Big boy. So I want to get the light back on, get the maximum light out of this. Uh, but I noticed that for my, just upon glancing at him, uh, they'd look better in lower light. So anyway, back to looking at all these. All of these seem to be just kind of really rough looking. They just, just don't seem to, you know, be that defined. Yeah, I think it is odd that they would actually make something in a shape like that. There's a couple of them that obviously made out of clay. Um, that one has just got the... just so happens that that one would show the left ear actually left to us right to it so anyway uh, all of these have some semblance of a trunk it's like a little baby one that one looks better from up top kind of hard to tell what that that big old eye it's a little bit too big for its shape but anyway okay now those are kind of good that's a little baby and that's something Uh, so some of them are pretty rough. Now this one right here is just one of the better ones that I've found. It, uh, of course, it sets best just the way that you see it setting. And when you look straight on to it, you can't really see a whole lot. I mean, 
I definitely from this angle right here can see a couple of eyes there. I don't know if if I can help it that way or not, but when you look at it from the top, you can see that that represents a trunk, pretty sure. So anyway, we've got some others like that. That one is round. And that's either an elephant or it's a bird. I'm not quite sure. It has elephant-like characteristics as well as these. Surprisingly, they don't look like much. But I see elephants in those. And then this one here. It's one of the earlier ones I've ever dug up. And I'm tossed between it being a lion or a cougar and an elephant. It's got that big old ear. And it does have a hole. Oops. Where is it? It has a hole right where that eye is supposed to be, so I'm going to leave it up to y'all's imagination, but anyway, and the question is, um, why mammoths in the middle of America? And we, we all know that uh, we've got a long history around this part of the country of digging up mammoth bones, mastodon bones. Uh, I'm not a stranger to this because my granddad and my grandmother, they were both rock hounds. And uh, about seven miles from here, they dug up a breastplate of a woolly mammoth. And they dug up several of the pelvic bones and some others. And then they had about a five foot long mastodon thigh bone. And it got... It got dispersed when he, after he passed away, and it was taken to some museum and held for a while. And last I heard, it's transferred up into another museum. At any rate, I've got pictures and newspaper articles. And uh, so the mammoths that were around here, the question is how long ago? And why do people make effigies of uh, an elephant here in America unless they were familiar with elephants and the people in South Central China that they think might have come over the Bering Strait uh, they would have been familiar with elephants so at any rate uh, that's my mammoth collection and one of the better collections that I've got <laughs>